Let's break this truth about over unity down. Okay, what we have for you today, we just got through destroying their definition of over unity. So now we can break down the full definition of over unity so everyone can understand what they've been hiding from the whole world. This experiment that I'm running and I did another video, but I'm going to put this one out first. Look at the time, look at the days running, look at the date, and look at the, the battery, the amps, and what's coming from the wall, and if the battery is hot and cold. Let's explain this. The whole point of this experiment is to run this 12 volt battery which is here continuously without recharging it it means it's just going to steady put out a thing so therefore it has to have a load and this is the load okay it has to get energy and right now we're putting more energy in than we're getting out okay this is going in the wall. That's why it's, it's when we talk about out. This this is out from the wall. So yeah, we're putting more energy into this. So that's out into this. And then this puts this back into the wall here. Back into the uh, AC wall. Now, so as we understand this, we want to know Hey, if we can continuous run this battery, okay, what do we call that? We call that pass-through charging, okay? So here's what we've been doing. This right here tells me 12.56 volts in that battery. And as we go back and look at the data every day, it's been staying or hovering around there. Today it was at 1260 this morning. But look, 1256, 1255, 1256, 1259. So, this battery is discharging and charging just like your cell phone. Okay? So, let's look at it. We got the load here. And if you look in there, you can see that that right here is the load. You can see those two wires. We can follow those wires up and it goes around into this right here. And you can see that that is 12 volts, which is they're saying the 12 volts here. And then it's boosting it to 25 volts because 12 volts won't run this and sending it up into this cord around here and up in that right there. So now we got this running, okay? And you can see 25, okay? And we can go back over here and check this, 25. So we know that 22 volts will turn this machine over, barely, but it still will turn it over. And we're getting uh, 58, 59 watts, that's what the W is, out into the wall. Okay, so that is watts in and watts out. Watts in and watts out. And I showed you before, can I change this around? Could I have less energy here and more energy here? Absolutely. But it has to deal with batteries and over unity has to deal with batteries. So first thing to break down is can we run this battery continuously like pass through charging just like your phone if it was on one bar and you plugged it in you could still use the device and charge it and it would charge up full so can we do that because that will save you from charging your batteries anywhere even off grid this up here from from the grid that's what this is plugged into in the grid this is our simulated solar so when we have solar on there and you've seen our solar there's one of our solars right here this tesseract okay this is solar okay 
So that's where we're going to get our source of our energy to prove that when we talk about over unity, that is different from what they talk about. And then it's your choice to choose who you want to believe who created over unity. Okay. So this experiment has been running for, let's see, eight days now and no changes in the voltage of the battery. It stays the same. That's great data. We, we're planning on running it 30 days or close to 30 days. So, what are we gonna do with that? Okay, this is what we're going to do with this. We're gonna calculate how big of a solar we need. These are only 20 watts, as you can see. So, Two of these together, as you can see, one, two, one, two, is 40 watts of power coming out of this, okay? So, we have to use the data that we have. Let's put this down here. The data we have that says, hey, the amps coming out of it has to be on the solar cells. Okay, let's look up here. So we have what we didn't write down, 27.4 volts. So we need a solar cell that's putting that out. We need a solar cell that's at least 91.3.45 or whatever is going to keep fluctuating on me. We need that wattage on there. So a 91 point thing, so we go to a hundred watt solar cells and then we see if that 100 watt is going to be 27 volts if it's not we go to a 200 watt solar cell and then we know the amps it has to be at least 7.27 amps to run this constantly and as you look at the solar cells design here okay one and two so these two sandwiches together that means that two uh if we have a 200 watt solar cell times two then we have the power we need to continuously run this battery that will prove step one of over unity pass through charging and then we have to get it to cycle now even though this is passed through charging, that's half the equation. This is putting energy in. This is put, putting energy out. Okay? So as soon as we lower this again, and that's using the batteries, and if you go, go to the other video that I did, and you'll see what I did to lower the voltage of this. So that means I'll have less energy coming out here, more energy going in here, and it'll be, since this is going into the grid and this is coming out of the grid, this means that this machine is running this thing over here, okay? Now, with all that together, you have over unity because you have both your cycle and your continuous 12 volt thing. So this is what this video is doing, is breaking that down and then keeping you aware of what's going on with this battery. Maybe one of these components will break. One of these components, something, because there's a lot of components on here, will break before we finish the experiment. But that's the whole point of it. The whole point is, is this 12 volt battery right here is doing more than that battery, which is cycling. That means it's emptying out and refilling, emptying out and refilling because of that right there, okay? So, if this little battery can do more work, not more power, but more work, then that battery right there, that's what over unity is about but it's so much more about over unity that they just don't want you to know 
That's why I have to destroy more power out and, and thing. And I did it by proving that there's so many apparatuses out there that gives you more power out than in. And Nikolai Tesla built one of them. Okay, so his tower and what's name he built them all different types of uh, thing, the Tesla tower, but that gives you more power out than in. Okay, so these solar right here, it gives you more power out than in. Okay, so we have a bunch of these devices all over, and I got hundreds and hundreds of different um, products, which I'm gonna do a film of all the different books and stuff and products that we're developing. So you get an idea that the guy who created over unity will always have more than those people just quoting that, that slogan, more power out the end and has nothing else to say other than, and don't even show you the meters proving that they're actually putting out more power than they're putting in. So I did that. Thank you. And now let's find out what over unity is by my standard, if my definition, or at least say, hey, Lloyd Stovall's definition of over unity and see who get used. And they'll still be sitting over there talking about this is what it's supposed to do, but they will never create it. OK, so go back and watch that video. I'll put it in the, uh, the descriptions below and. Hey guys, this is real here. We're showing you the meters. We're showing you the data. We're showing you the batteries that we're using. And after we finish, you're going to be able to duplicate this and use it for yourself. Most of you have batteries of some sort. It doesn't matter what type. You just got to find out how many amps I can put in there. And how much voltage I can put in there without damaging the battery. Now, I have one more thing to say. You see all these C's on here? It says hot or cold. If I take this fan off of here, this battery will heat up. Okay? This battery will heat up. If I boost this up to uh, right here to 7 amps to 8 amps, this battery will run very, very hot. But by just putting that little fan in there, hooking it to not even this full because it's a 12 volt fan to this five volt thing, plugging it in, this battery stays cool. OK, so that's an important thing to do because you don't want to damage your batteries. So we keep that cool. I put these aluminum plates on there to even help um, dissipate the coolness on there. So this plate stays pretty cold. You can feel it is cold. So, just that little stuff, man, I can run that at the maximum amps, the maximum voltage, and this battery is not full, because this can go up to 15 volts, but it's staying right at this level, and the battery's staying cool, and it's constant. That's one of the elements we were looking for in over unity. But over unity is about a cycle, about switching. And we're going to explain that in another video. But this video, I'm going to call done. I hope you guys keep watching and find out the truth about over unity. And guess what? Please go out and try to find someone else to explain it in detail like I do. That's important. That way you'll know which one of us actually created over unity. And the, another person who's just talking about creating over unity and is not showing you anything all right thanks a lot